Psychic Renegade Tarot. My name is Bethany. Let's do another quick celebrity reading. I'm going to knock out a couple of these and then I'll get back to my crime series. But I had a couple requests for celebrity readings. Someone asked for a celebrity reading on Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez. So I did one the other day on Selena and Haley for fun. I just did one on Travis and Taylor. So I'm covering this group of celebrities a lot. But now I'm looking at Taylor and Selena. Just This is going to be super short and cute. I don't think there's going to be a lot to dig into because it seems pretty obvious to me that they adore each other. But let's just look at a little bit about their friendship. Why not? Let's look at um, the energy between the two of them. The energy between the two of them when they met. Three of Cups and Spirit of Pentacles. So, okay, the Spirit of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Cups, it was very innocent. Like it wasn't about money, it wasn't about status. It wasn't about what they could get from each other here with the Spirit of Pentacles reversed. It was about just really the fun that they have together, the bond, the friendship, the camaraderie. They they really like each other. They really respect each other and adore each other. Um, it's feeling like they really are like besties kind of thing. Um, six of Cups. Aww. I mean, since their friendship goes back to when they were younger, it does remind them of like their adolescence and growing up and they went through a lot of trials together. The Ace of Swords. They know that they always have each other's back. Like, I don't think they ever question each other. I don't think they've ever lied to each other. I feel like through thick and thin, no matter what they go through, even if they like disappoint each other or get mad at each other, I feel like they're very honest and respectful of each other with the Ace of Swords. There's a lot of nostalgia too with the Six of Cups. They feel very comfortable around each other. If they feel like home, they feel close, definitely soulmate kind of friendship they're very i think they're best friends i don't know um let's look at current energy here the death card so their friendship has gone through a lot of transitions where they didn't know if they were gonna like stay as close but it's like as all of their transitions and seasons they always find each other seven of wands yeah there always comes a new scenario or new situation where they come to each other's defense. They're very defensive and protective of each other with the Seven of Wands here. The Strength card too. Um, they lean on each other for advice, for venting, for solace, um, dealing with you know the masses, the celebrity, the breakups. Um, what to do with their music, how to handle the industry, all those things, they really relate to each other. And so they're able to discuss it together or, um, I don't know, just, just be true friends. You know what I'm saying? And then the mystic, it's a, it's a cute, like magical kind of friendship. Like they really spark each other's like creativity. It's like a child, like cute bond like they really just like bring out um each other's like childlike energy and innocence i see them like baking cookies like riding bikes like sledding like <laughs> just fun cute normal things together like really just like laughing and blowing off steam and i don't know just being there for each other it feels very this is so crazy because i just did the other reading and i was like so pumped up and energized and i feel like so relaxed now it's almost like i just like took a bath or something like my muscles literally feel relaxed i just feel at ease it's almost like going to your grandma's house and she makes you like some stew and cookies or i don't know you just feel like super cozy and like you're around like your people like they really feel about each other like that's my people like i feel like i love that girl like this is cute like they're super cute about each other very much like ride or die good good friends let's look at their future energy together their future energy together their future energy together queen of pentacles
reversed, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. So there might be some kind of like dispute or gossip about money is how I'm seeing it. Like something might get brought up regarding money. Like it might be a business deal gone wrong or something like that. Like they don't want it to be about money. Um, with the Eight of Cups, it's like they might take breaks from their relationship or sometimes they have to spend a lot of time away from each other if they're living in different areas. Um, but I feel like they have other friends, they have other engagements, they have other things going on, but with the Seven of Cups reversed, they always want to come back to each other. There's like a very like close bond comfort they have together that they don't have with some of their other friends or it's just, it's just a sweetness. You know what I mean? Like every relationship is different. Like there's only that bond that they get from this relationship. So <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Okay. And then like no one just understands you like your best friend. You know what I mean? Like your best friend really gets you. You can vent, you can say anything you need to and they always get it. So like that's the definition of like a best friend. Someone that always has your back. The nine of swords, they get inside their head sometimes. I feel like they both kind of struggle with like overactive mind or anxiety a little bit. And they kind of, they kind of are each other's voice of reason here. Um, this is either like money doesn't matter to them. I don't feel like they're really fighting about money because it's just not in either of their characters. This is like money doesn't matter to them. or willing to blow money on each other, like to travel, to splurge. Like this might be like spoiling each other too. Like one of them might drop like a huge bag on the other or they might like open a charity together and like put out their own money into it. It's just like kind of they both kind of show each other that like they're more important to each other than money. And so that's not really an aspect in their relationship. And if it ever becomes one, they squash it. Yeah, they don't let it get to them here. Eight of Cups. And it's also like they're not the kind of friends. This isn't like they're breaking up with the Eight of Cups here. It's, you're ever nervous like when you don't see a friend for a while and you're like, okay, it's going to be the same. Are they going to treat me the same? Is it going to feel the same? Is it going to be awkward? Um, am I still going to have my friend or have they like grown too much? They don't know me anymore. I feel like every time they might get a little nervous and then they realize they're the same people. It's the same girl. It's my friend. And whenever they spend time together, it, it's like they just click again. So let me see. Show me Taylor's current um, view about Selena and show me Selena's current view about Taylor. Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, High Priestess. Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, High Priestess is how Taylor looks at Selena. Selena looks at... Aww. Okay, pardon the interruption. Okay, so I was looking at how Taylor sees Selena and how Selena sees Taylor. So this is cute. Like for Taylor, when she's with Selena or how she views her friend or her friendship, she feels like she can let her guard down with the Ten of Wands reversed around her. She feels completely at ease. Like, um, she never questions her loyalty or anything like that. And the two of wands, it's like they always conspire together. They're always like making a plan, going on an adventure. They're always on the same page. It's always like a parallel line is how I'm seeing it with the two of wands. They definitely just feel like friends and almost like a sister kind of bond is how I'm seeing it. Like they feel more than friends, they feel like family. The high priestess, um, Taylor really respects Selena's intuition, her intellect, and her insight. I feel like she's very um, careful about how she handles people, about how she handles situations, her own life, relationships. Um, she's just a very graceful woman and Taylor sees that in her and respects that in her. And I feel like they kind of just like bring out the best in each other 
with this energy and it's like they're always on the same page and always having fun and how for selena how she looks at taylor um awakening reversed the empress and the sun i feel like with awakening reversed it's like nothing <laughs> surprises her anymore i feel like taylor's definitely the goofy one or brings selena out of her shell more especially socially and with the sun and the empress I mean, it's just like, she looks at her as kind of almost a big sister too. Uh, I think she is a little bit older. She's just like helped her in so many ways. She's helped her in the industry. She's helped her as a friend, um, advice, helped her through getting through her breakups, just everything. I feel like she just like so admires her friend and how she took her under her wing and how close they are and how she never judged her or never acted better than her or above her in any kind of way it's a very graceful energy as well here with the sun and the empress they're just they're very i don't know i think they're great women they're lovely women um and i think that's why they gravitated towards each other they have very similar character and um not personality but the way they like conduct themselves like they're respectful and but they're also very humble and they're also very kind they have a lot of the same kind of values is what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's just very cute. Let's do like a little future prediction. Uh, future prediction of these two. What is gonna go on? Any adventures or drama or I don't know. Life cycles they might go through together. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? them racing outside. Oh, Ace of Wands. Three of Wands. So lots of adventures, lots of new ideas. Uh oh, they're gonna see each other through relationships and always have that soulmate kind of love for each other. Six of Swords. They're gonna be there for each other through thick and thin and always and be the person that like pulls the other out of a bad situation or defends the other publicly. Um, if anything that they might face with the Ten of Swords here. So I feel like they will go through some stuff. <clears throat> yep, they're gonna, they're both gonna go through things. I feel like they're gonna be lifelong friends or for a very long time. I don't see these people breaking up. They're just like too good of friends. So they're gonna see each other through tragedies. I feel like it's gonna be like death. Um, they all th already have gone through tragedies like Selena's illness, Taylor's um, reputation era where she felt like kind of like black blackballed by society for a minute and just kind of went into hiding. Um, but it's like whenever they're together, they have so much fun and it's always like fresh ideas. They want to go new places. Um, even if they like stay in together, it's just like, there's always like a new joke or a funny story or, I don't know, it's just, it's fun energy with the Ace of Wands here. It's definitely like that friendship kind of bond. The Three of Wands is they love to travel together. They love to go see each other, surprise each other. I'm also getting this as like, they love to support one another and support each other uh, with all their endeavors and careers um, and relationships and all of that. Um, with the two of cups, I feel like their love for each other is just going to grow. Um, it's not the kind of bond that's easily broken, especially soulmates. Even if they like broke up and never talked again, they would still love each other. Like they're just, they're definitely soulmates. And the six of swords feeds into the ten of swords here with the ace of swords. They, they help each other through things and it's always going to be that way. It, it, they're like each other's like rock so they have other friends they have other fun friends they have other lifelong friends they have other people in their life of course this isn't their only relationship but it's one that's very vital for each of them like selena really needs taylor and taylor really needs selena they're they depend on each other and they lean on each other a lot to get through certain situations a lot of it is their career and things they're facing having to deal with fame um, and like the backlash of that or just people's opinions on their lives. Um, 
they're really they have that sisterhood where they can come together and vent and talk to each other and have each other's back and like when someone's gaslighting you and you're like oh my gosh is this person right like um did I mess up or am I a terrible person or and then you have your friend to bounce off of and speak truth to you and be like no you never did that when did that happen and you're like okay you made me feel better so sometimes you need that friend that um can just like break off bs around you and help you work out things seven of pentacles yeah they're always going to invest in each other this is a friendship that's going to go on and on and on seven of pentacles is like sowing seeds for the future they talk they talk frequently they spend time together like they they enjoy each other's friendship and company and they have no intention of stopping that so that's gonna be something that they always enjoy and pursue um like i had another thought that i was trying to explain to you guys and i totally lost it but now i can't think of it but anyway yeah so this was by request uh let me make sure you guys thought about this mini little read or if you want any more like gossip or relationship or friendship type readings um of celebs or famous people I'm always open to topic suggestions is what i'm trying to say and thank you guys for watching subscribe for more helps the channel like share all that and i'll see you guys next time